welcome to another video of mine. I hate that you can see me in the mirror. Today, as you can tell by the title, I am making a Percy Jackson outfit. My family is going to Fan Expo on Saturday. Today is Tuesday night. It's currently 8. Tomorrow I'm going to Canada's Wonderland for the day. Thursday, I might be going with my parents to see our new house that we're getting. And Friday, I'm babysitting all day. And then Saturday's Fan Expo. So I can't work on it for the entire week. Not the greatest planning on my part, but whatever. I digress. I don't actually know what that word means. I just always feel really smart when I use it. I've purchased materials to make the perfect Percy Jackson outfit. And I'm going to start with the thing that is least important. The most important thing, of course, is the shirt. I have this orange shirt. It's a men's small because nowhere sells plain women's shirts, but it fits and it'll work. And then I have black fabric paint. This I'm going to leave till later because then today we went to Michael's because when am I not going to Michael's apparently? I also got three balls of yellow yarn and I got bracelet and like necklace clasps, wooden plain beads, and cording for the necklace is that they wear. So I'm gonna use this brown one, not the black one. I don't know what I'm ever gonna use this, this black for. I'm gonna use like five of these. I haven't decided if I'm making Percy's or Annabeth's. Probably Percy's because I don't have like a big chunky gold ring for Annabeth's. And then I'll use these to attach the necklace at the back. I gotta start by finding out what colors his beads are. I know that there's a blue one with the trident on it. The last one is the Empire State Building. There's one with the labyrinth. There's one with the tree. And then I guess I'm just missing Sea of Monsters. I don't remember what Sea of Monsters is, but I'm just gonna search it up. And then the pattern for the shirt, which I'll talk about later though, I'm using the one that they use in the show or will be using in the show, not, do they even have the shirt in the originals? I don't think so. And either way, who cares about the original movies? Anyway, so what I'm gonna go out and do right now is paint these beads. So I searched it up and Percy has one with the trident, one with the golden fleece, one with, it looks like an arrow. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Does he have four or five? I would assume he has five, but that looks like he only has four. Does he get like a hey you exist one? I hate that I'm forgetting this. Oh, it's an arrow, cause it's, or a bow and arrow, cause it's Zoe's thing, I'm pretty sure. Or is it a tree? Cause that's a tree. I don't know anything. Blech. What's on Percy Jackson's necklace? He has four beads. He has a sand dollar. Oh, and his probatio thing from Son of Neptune. Okay. Why does he only have four? Oh, because the one book takes place in the winter. Oh. Annabeth Chase has more. Hey, Annabeth Chase has more camp beads than any other known demigod. Fun fact. But I don't know. I'm realizing I have an illustrated copy of Lightning Thief. And as I'm saying that, I'm realizing that this will not have the four last ones. Still, maybe it'll have. I love this book so much. Can we just take a moment to look at that? Like, I love this book. Anyway, that's not gonna tell me. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't wanna just color random beads. I want them to have a purpose for each one. How many beads are on Percy Jackson's necklace see this says he has five trident talia's tree the labyrinth oh so he doesn't get one for the third one but most people that make these just make an extra bead because they want it okay i get it now so it's the trident talia's tree the labyrinth and that and then i'm also going to make one that's just orange and says camp half blood because five looks prettier than four Oh, orange is a combination of red and yellow. What color is the Empire State Building? Welcome to the floor where I will be doing my painting. Maybe I should actually move up to my desk. That's why I have a desk. <gasps> this is a Ziploc. That's awesome. Cause these bags always suck. The nice thing about having so many beads is I can mess up. Now I'm gonna move up here and actually do it. So I hope you enjoyed this crappy angle. Now we are at my desk, which maybe I can get a decent angle. Oh, that is terrible. That has been in here for I don't know how long. I guess we're just gonna go for it. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna start with black for I think the first bead. So I'm painting this one black and then I'm, I have a light blue and a dark blue that I'm gonna use to try and make this trident look kind of like electric-y for lack of better words. <gasps> I painted it. My fingers are gonna be co so covered in paint. I actually saw someone say that they took wire and hung the beads and then painted them so then their fingers didn't get painted. But I feel like I started off with black, now I'm in too deep. Like, if I had started off with a light color, then it would be different. That one's done. I don't have water. Ow. Oh. 
I feel like the go-to background if there's not a clear background because it would be better if I went into the book and found out what each of the beads were and usually I would but I think the fact that I'm filming this and also I was gonna say and the fact that I'm on time crunch but the time crunch wouldn't actually make me act faster yeah the fact that I'm filming makes me not want to waste all that time so yeah was that a finished sentence? Sometimes I finish sentences and I didn't actually finish it. The Battle of the Labyrinth, which is red. Can it come out please? Red. You can't see. Red. What was I gonna say? Oh, I didn't finish my thought earlier. I was gonna say earlier that the go-to background, I think, if you don't know what it is, would be blue because Percy Jackson, but I don't want all of them to be blue. So I think they're all gonna have some, a blue component, but they're not all gonna be blue. Ow. <laughs> that's like nothing. Ooh, I like this blue. I feel like that's- <laughs> Ignore my fingers. I feel like that's a good blue. Don't focus on my face. Whatever. Okay, now I get to mix colors. Yay! I'm gonna squirt the yellow next to the red, and then mix them together in the middle, and then they're still going to be red for one after we do the battle of the labyrinth one. I'm so glad we're all on the same page. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is that orange? Oh, oh, no, my beads. I just lost my black bead. Okay, there you go. You can kind of see it there. Is that orange? Is it even focusing? I don't know. That's orange. That's very much orange. That's good. Now I have to find the black bead I lost. Oh, hello, spider. Warning, if you don't like spiders, look away until I tell you you can look back. I just moved my laundry. And there's a spider there. I always name my spiders that I meet. This one, he's given me... Oh, wow, that corner is really dirty. Look back now, if you don't like spiders. Um, I think I'm gonna name him, I, I wanna name him Gerald, but I feel like I named so many of the spiders Gerald, or something along those lines. We'll name him Jeffrey, with a G. I 100% lost that black bead, so now I'm not going to lift this up anymore, and I'm just gonna repaint it, because I have no shortage of beads or black paint. This is actually a really nice orange, I feel like it's a good at Camp Half-Blood orange. I'm so all over the place, I feel like this never comes across in my videos. This is like my constant state. Or at least my constant mental state. No, there's like some blue mixing in with this black, but it's black so it'll overpower it. So now I guess I just go over it again. Go over it again with the same color as my base color and then I'll figure out how I'm gonna do the little mini design. So those are the colors. I feel like they don't look great. I think it'll work out. I think it'll look okay. Beads are done drying. And then I have this super tiny paintbrush. So now I'm going to take it and hopefully I can do some specific painting. I'm just trying with the black one because that's his first year. And I'm just gonna try and paint a trident, I guess. That is quite possibly the worst trident I've seen in my entire life. But you know what? If it's got three prongs, I'm happy. I can't say the word prongs because I think of James Potter. Okay, that works. Now that just has to dry. Then I can add the dark blue. Does anything else need blue? How does one draw a labyrinth? It doesn't really matter if it looks like a labyrinth. It just needs to be a whole bunch of lines going a whole bunch of directions. This one's harder because I have to actually write coherent stuff. I'm trying to write CHB. We'll do the H in the middle, I think, first. Sure, that's an H. How do I have space for a B? That's a B. Now a C and we'll be set. We're gonna say that says CHB. No one's actually gonna go that close to it. Wait, am I gonna have to add it? No, this can have its own space. That was way too much brown. I'm literally doing a little line on a tiny bead. I hope this is entertaining for you because you can't actually see what I'm painting. I feel like if I had like a head camera or something and you could actually see what I was doing, then that'd be great. Okay, that's definitely gonna need to be redone. I wonder if I should paint the other sides with the same thing so that if it like twists. Okay, so now we have to redo all of those, make sure they look good, and then I'll show you what the beads look like. And then I think I'm done. Oh wait, no, then I actually have to make the necklace. This is a lot of work. All right, so they're done. They suck. Here, this one's still kind of wet. That's the trident. Please focus. See, that sucks, but whatever. Don't look at it too closely. That's the tree. That one's not terrible. That's the labyrinth. I feel like it looks like a Spider-Man something. Or like, what's that guy from Star Wars? Battle of the Labyrinth? That's supposed to be the Empire State Building. Oh, I can draw a line from the top because it has like a stick. Yeah, it's bad. I can't paint. And that's my Camp half lid one. I never claimed to be a good artist, but I can't paint. That being said, we are I'm going to try and put these on a necklace now. So we have the cord. I don't know how big to make it. That's good. I think I'll do a lobster clasp. Okay, so now I have to get this through that. It's not focusing. Wish me luck. Oh my god, this is terrible. This does not want to go in. Okay, the other one, I think maybe this will work. Ow. Okay, so it didn't fit in that little tiny hole. 
So now I've got like this other wire thing that I think should fit through. And now that I'm trying to do it, I don't think it's going to, but I will make it work. Or actually I might have smaller ones that will fit through. So then I can attach the rope to the thing and then attach it to the other thing. That wasn't a proper sentence. This one, maybe this one will work. Or maybe it won't because they're all the same thickness and actually I think that's the same wire. Nope, that one's smaller. It still might be the same wire thickness though. This is hurting my nails. Do nails hurt? Ow, the answer is yes. Oh, that almost worked. And then I pulled it out. Yes, yes, yeah. And that shouldn't fall off because that is barely sticking in there. Okay, then if we bend this, ha, okay, it bent back. Then I just have to tie this securely around that. Paint on my fingers is really throwing off my hand-eye coordination, which doesn't make any sense. That's a weird way to tie a knot, but whatever. Okay, let's hope that that stays. So now we have the lobster clasp all set up. Oh, did I get paint on that? And now I'm gonna put the beads on. I just don't know if I should put the Camp Half-Blood one first or in the middle. I think I'll put it in the middle. Ta-da! Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But it works. And you can cut and you can like tell what it is. And especially when I'm wearing the shirt, you'll be able to very clearly tell what it is. So we have the trident, Talia's tree, Camp Half-Blood. Is that upside down? Oh, I know it's reversed in the camera. Battle of the Labyrinth and Empire State Building. And I put knots on either side so that they kind of don't move and stay in the center. And then I have the claw glass on the back. So that's great, that's done. I'm very happy with it. It's not perfect, as I just said, but it'll work. I'm not a perfectionist, really. Well, I can be, depending on what area of my life we're talking about. For this, I'm okay with it being like that. Maybe even I'll redo it and make it better, but I'm not, if I can't, I'm not worried about the state that it's in. So now I gotta work on the shirt. So for the shirt, I found this image. It seems to be the closest to, here, if I go to Instagram. I'm just relogging into Instagram so you can't see that. So this logo is that logo, is it not? Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So that's what this is. The only thing, I have to find a way to make it big enough to fit onto this shirt. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the picture and I split it in two so that it can be bigger. Now I'm going to trace it onto a piece of paper see how that fits on the shirt. Actually, I can probably tell. I mean, initially I should just see, will this even fit? We need to have creepy bad lighting for this part because or else I can't see it. So I'm sorry. Okay, that works. It is quite large. That's how you're gonna be able to tell what it is. So now I'm gonna trace it in the dark. I am going to record, but you're not gonna be able to see anything. Let the tracing, what is happening with this thing? Let the tracing begin. So I've traced the entire thing on this paper, which for reference, like, I think it'll fit on my shirt. So now I'm going to cut this out, out all the lines, and then put this onto the shirt and then paint all the things I cut out. I'm really proud of my tracing of the letters. I hope I can save that with the cutting. I'm an idiot. This thing is a circle. You can't cut it out because then it's not attached anymore. So I redid it in black and now what i'm gonna do is it's 11 o'clock now so i'm done for the night and i'll work on it tomorrow what i'm gonna do is here let's see if i can tomorrow is take this put it on the inside of the shirt probably put some cardboard there like there's no light shining through that and you can already kind of see that but then my grandma has like this light box for tracing just like this that i'm gonna put on the other side of it to ensure that you can see it through it and then i'll trace it because that makes a lot more sense than whatever i was gonna do which was stupid thus ends it for today i will see you tomorrow when i actually make the shirt hello it is two days later 3 30 on thursday which means i have until midnight tonight to get this done so the necklace is done i am now on to the shirt this is the state of the shirt i need to peel out voila let's say it fits me like this about it's gonna go right in the center of my chest i borrowed my grandma's light tracer so i'm gonna do this on the ground and then i also have this piece of cardboard when i got a vinyl which i think will be because you have to put cardboard in between right so it doesn't ruin the other side of the shirt i think that's a thing if i measure out that amount of space on this cardboard i don't think the light's gonna do anything so maybe i'll chance it i'm gonna cut it out anyway and then chance it. Do these sentences make sense? Because they don't feel finished. Will this just rip actually? Is that? Sure. I'm sorry, I'm gonna cut this out and then it's not actually gonna work. Cutting things is difficult. Ow, my hand hurts. 
Actually, I just it's kind of done enough. I wonder if I can just... Can anyone cut cardboard gracefully? And is that even the word you would use? Got it. Take the shirt and put it in the shirt. Okay. Good, I think we're good. We're ready to start. You can see that quite clearly. I think you can actually see it clearer on camera than I can in person. I have black. That's not the fabric paint. Where is the fabric paint? I think it's out there. I think I have to venture into my home to actually grab the fabric paint. Did mom steal the paint? All right, I have, is this the fabric paint? I think this is the fabric paint. And then the paint brushes. And then I'm gonna squirt it out. Where'd the palette? Squirt it out on the palette and then just paint. This is take this is taking me forever. I've done only the words and it's been like 20 minutes. This is what it looks like so far. We're not gonna focus too hard on the L or the O's or the M or the F. And the fact that the A is so much smaller than the L. But like it looks decent and I can fix it up after. From a distance, it doesn't look terrible. And you look closer and it's not great. I'm going to take a quick break to make sure that it's dried before I fix it and just do another layer to try and make it a bit better. Also because I've been doing this for all, almost an hour and I am tired and hungry. Painting Camp Half Butcher is hard work. So I've done like a second coat and I said it before with the necklace and I'll say it with the shirt. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But I think that if I try and fix it more, I'll ruin it. So it's kind of got like a bit of a rustic vibe. It looks handmade, which it's a camp shirt. I feel like that's okay. This is what it looks like. You can see like 100% okay with all the ru like the ruins here being like different and kind of messed up because like I feel like that's what they're supposed to be. I really wish the circles were better, but this I'm I'm happy with the Pegasus and I'm happy with the ruins. The circles are bothering me and half blood is a little bit bothering me, but I'm actually pretty okay with it. So I'm gonna leave it. I might fix it up a bit tomorrow if I feel like it, but I'm gone most of the day. So I think I'm done. I'll give you like a reveal tomorrow or on Saturday when I actually wear it. I don't know if I'm gonna feel like doing that tomorrow, but I'm pretty much done my outfit. So yay. It's fan expo day. Sorry, I'm so tired. I woke up half an hour ago. Okay, I'm gonna prop you up somewhere so I can show you the outfit. Oh, first off, here's the necklace. I put on owl earrings because like Athena. Yeah, okay, so this is my full outfit. Denim cutoffs, then I have my shirt that I made. It's kind of stiff on the Pegasus, but the rest of it's normal and fine and feels like a shirt and I think it worked out well. Then we've got the necklace, the, what are these called? Owls, and then I just have little gold studs as my doubles. And then I have my hair in a ponytail right now because I felt like it looked better. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me make this outfit for Fan Expo. There will be a Fan Expo vlog coming probably next week. I've been filming for that all morning and we'll hopefully film it for the rest of the day. So stick around for that. I hope to see you there. Bye.